So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little apple bag. I saw something similar on Pinterest and I thought I would try and make my own patterns. This is a long one, so this is two parts. You are going to need the color that you want for the seeds. You're not going to need a whole lot. You're only going to make four little seeds, so I'm just using some scrap brown. You'll need the color that you want for the inside of your apple, either a red or a green for the apple skin. So I'm going to use red, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a five millimeter hook. The first step is you need to make a magic ring. I'm going to put the tail over your fingers, wrap it all the way around until it crosses in the front. Place your hook under the top strand, grab the other strand, and pull it through. And then you're going to chain one. And the hole is right there. And that's your magic ring. We're going to place eight single crochets into the ring. Here's our single crochet, and we need to place eight. There we have eight. Next, you're going to place one half double crochet. One double crochet. Then you're going to chain two. You're going to single crochet into that first chain we made. And then you're going to slip stitch into the post of the double crochet. And that is this part here and this part here. So you're slip stitching into the front of the double crochet. Then you're going to do a double crochet, a half double crochet, both into the ring. Then you can pull your loop nice and tight, close up that hole by pulling on that tail and then you need to slip stitch to the first single crochet. And you should have something that looks like this. For the next round, I apologize that it's kind of hard to see the stitches. It's just because it's such a dark colored yarn. Anyway, you'll chain one. And you're going to do eight single crochets, starting with the stitch directly below the slip stitch. One, and you're going to do seven more in the next couple stitches. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, all the way across the bottom there. You're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, which is harder to see, but you're going to put it in this little divot here. To kind of even out what's going on. You're going to single crochet, it doesn't matter too much, but somewhere into the top of this pointy part. Chain one, single crochet in the same area of the pointy part, 
single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next, and then we'll slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. Okay, you should have a little seed-like shape. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. Once we start getting into the apple color, there will be more definitive stitches to place all of your stitches. It won't be like kind of random, but for now, as long as you have something that resembles this, you should be good. So you can cut your yarn off of this one. So you're going to make two of these and make sure you fasten off your yarn and leave a little tail. Now we're going to go ahead and put a little cream outside around our seed. So you're going to join, here's our slip stitch. You should see one stitch, two stitches, and the third stitch. You're going to join your cream or white yarn into that stitch just by tying a little knot. Insert your hook, chain one, and you're going to put two single crochets in that stitch. Then you're going to do one single crochet in the next, and then you're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. You're going to do five single crochets in the next five stitches. In our top stitch, it should be your chain, you're going to do one single crochet, you're going to do two single crochets, and you're going to do five single crochets in the next five stitches. Increase in the next stitch one in the next stitch and then slip stitch to the first stitch chain one leave a long tail so you should have two little acorn like things on your acorns there should be an increase at the top of the pointy part you're going to join in those two stitches in the so you're going to put the you're going to put the points together just like this at an angle and you're going to grab the increased stitch that's closest to the top on each side And you're going to join your cream color through there. So you're going to leave a tail, a nice long tail, as you tie them together at that stitch. And then you're going to take the tail that you just made and you're going to reach in to the next stitch. and grab that tail and weave it under and you're going to grab the next two stitches and pull it under and you'll do that one more time and pull that under 
So it should be joined similarly to this. And we're gonna grab it and pull it back through. Just to secure it. And we'll hide that end later. But now they're joined. And we have our working yarn attached in the center here. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna shove your hook through that hole in the center, pull up a loop, and chain one. Then you're gonna slip, you're gonna single crochet into the next five stitches. Then you're gonna put three half double crochets in the next three stitches. And you're gonna do a half double crochet increase, which is placing two half doubles in the next stitch. You're gonna do two more half double crochets, one in the next two stitches. You'll increase in the next stitch. You're going to put five half double crochets in the next five stitches. That should put you pretty close to the corner here. Then you're going to put a half double crochet in the center there. In the next stitch, you're going to place five more half double crochets in the next five stitches. Then you can increase in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, increase in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches, and then five single crochets in the next five stitches, one in each stitch. So, when you're finished, you should have 19 stitches, one, that one half double crochet in the center, and then 19 more stitches. So that gives you a total of 39 stitches. As long as you have 39 stitches and it looks somewhat like this, then you should be good to move on. You're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did, chain one, and cut your yarn. For the next row, we're going to join our yarn in a different area, just because that is how I wrote the pattern and I need to read it the same way. You need to find the half double that's in the middle here. That's the stitch. After that stitch, you're gonna join in the seventh stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You will join your yarn there. We're gonna start off with a chain chain one and then we're going to do a chainless double crochet so to do that you pull that loop up to about the height of a double crochet grab the yarn hold it in place twist your hook in front of the yarn under in that hole pull up a loop under that yarn, 
and then pull through the two loops on your hook. And you should have something that looks like a double crochet. If you don't want to do that, you can do a chain two. After that first double crochet, we're going to do one more double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to increase in the next stitch, which means two double crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to do another double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to increase in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Increase in the next stitch. We're going to do in the next four stitches one double crochet. In the next stitch, a single crochet. Then we're going to slip stitch to the center here. Single crochet in the next stitch, four double crochets, one in the next four stitches, then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch, Double crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches. Increase in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next three stitches. Two single crochets. Then you need to skip, you might need to skip two stitches, I do in this case, I'll skip this one and this little half double crochet stitch. And you need to put two on the opposite side so that they're even across the side here. Then you need to put three double crochets one in the next three stitches. You're going to increase in the next stitch. And then you're going to increase either in the next stitch if you have one, or you're going to just increase wherever you can because we need two more double crochets on this side to even it out. So then we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch. Should look like this. Now after this row, everything should be even and there won't be any confusion on where to place the stitches. So what you should have is four stitches, four single crochets, two on this side and two on this side, kind of in the center. Then you should have two, so you should have, you should have your two single crochets and then 22 more stitches all the way up until this slip stitch, then 22 stitches 
and then your final two single crochets. So that gives you a total of 49 stitches. A little bit of a change of scenery, but we're ready to do the next row. So we're gonna chain one, five single crochets in the next five stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet increase in the next stitch. So that's two half double or two double crochets in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're gonna treble crochet increase in the next stitch. So yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And do that again in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next two stitches. Four slip stitches. We have one, two, we're going to skip this stitch in the center. One, two, we have two single crochets in the next two stitches. One half double crochet, one double crochet, treble crochet increase. Double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet increase in the next stitch, half double crochet, and then five single crochets in the next five stitches. That's this half. Now we're going to do the other half, starting with a double crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch we're going to place a double crochet, another double crochet, and then a treble crochet. All in the same stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then we have four more slip stitches. One, two, three, four. Then single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches, treble crochet in the next stitch, then in the next stitch we're going to place a treble and two doubles, double crochet in the last stitch, and then slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. You should have 56 stitches at the end of this round. For the next round, we're going to be doing a chainless double crochet again in the first stitch. And then we need five more double crochets in the next five stitches. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. Double crochet increase in the next stitch again. 
and then one more time increase in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch double crochet increase in the next stitch you need four double crochets in the next four stitches Then we need to half double crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next stitch, four double crochets in the next four stitches. Increase in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, then we're going to increase in the next three stitches, then we're going to put seven double crochets in the next seven stitches. Increase in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a treble increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a double crochet increase in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Then we're going to place eight single crochets. Two half double crochets. Double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet increase in the next stitch, treble crochet increase in the next stitch, double crochet increase in the next stitch, and then double crochet in the last stitch. Slip stitch to the top. You should have 70 stitches. For the next round, we're going to start off with our chainless double crochet, and then we need to place seven more double crochets. Double crochet increase in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to place one double crochet and one treble crochet. And we're going to do a treble crochet increase in the next stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to do one treble crochet and one double crochet. Then we're going to place four double crochets in the next four stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Half double in the next two. Double crochet in the next four.
In the next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet and a treble crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a treble crochet increase. In the next stitch, treble crochet and double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. Then we're going to put double crochet in the next 10 stitches. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. Double crochet increase in the next stitch again. Double crochet in the next three stitches. Half double crochet in the next four stitches. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Half double crochet in the next four stitches. Double crochet in the next three stitches. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. And double crochet increase in the next stitch again. Double crochet in the next two stitches and then slip stitch to the top. You should have 82 stitches. For the next row, start off with a chainless double crochet, and then we need 12 more in the next 12 stitches. In the next stitch, double crochet and treble crochet. In the next stitch, treble crochet increase. Treble crochet in the next two stitches. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next two stitches. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. treble crochet and double crochet in the next stitch. Then we need to do 16 double crochets in the next 16 stitches. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. 
treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Treble crochet increase in the next stitch. Double crochet increase in the next stitch. And double crochet in the last three stitches. And then slip stitch to the top. You should have 96 stitches. At this point, we are going to cut our yarn and make the stem. We're going to cut the tutorial and there will be a part two to make the rest of the cream, the stem, and the outside color.